Well, hello, Anagos and the Frenchos. It's Donald. Welcome back to my kitchen. Hey, on today's menu, I'll be serving you a look at 25 new cards coming this October. October 4th in the Shiny Legend expansion. Starting off with our favorite Venusaur. Not Venusaur GX. Only Charizard gets that because he's special. So Venusaur is sad, but Venusaur does have something amazing. Let's start off with our first Pokemon, Venusaur. Just Venusaur. Regular stage 2, but take a look at the hit points. 160. That is GX level. And he's not a GX Pokemon, so just one prize card. Now the ability is excellent. Lord of the Jungle. Does that sound cool? Every basic grass energy counts as two basic grass energies. So basically, they are double grass energies. Yeah. The scaling on this ability is immense. You will have so many energies once Lord of the Jungle. In fact, it is so powerful that you cannot have more than one jungle ability at, at, at each turn. Otherwise, two, three, four Venusaurs. One energy becomes eight. That would be very broken. I, I completely agree on this uh, limitation. However, one of them is very, very good. So this attack, it's attack. Solar Beam costs four energies. You just only need two grass energies to attack. And you have a good backup attacker, which we will need more in the future meta. So uh, I'll get to that in a bit. What synergies you know, immediately come to mind? What do you want to use the Venusaur with? Easy. Lurantis is the first favorite choice because how do you get basic energies quickly? Easy. Flower supply, 40 damage, two basic energies from your discard. So that's two grass energies, which is really four grass energies. Really? One attack gives you four grass energies? Yeah, and the combo's big time with the Chlorocyte GX. 50 damage every grass energy. Given that if you only have two energies, like actual energies, Venusaur multiplies a double, so that's four. That's 200 damage for only two grass energies. This is why for two of Laurentis attacks, both Flower Supply and Chlorocyte is so happy to get this. Oh yeah, and it also has this, well this is Solar Blade, 120. It usually takes three energies, you just only need two grass energies and this is a monster. So really bring out the efficiency of Laurentis. Of course, there are other grass Pokemons who like it. Even the most recent era, we can take a look at Tapu Bulu, which beats three energy attacks. Now, you just only need two. And Nature's Judgment is going to be a little bit easier to spam. Whoa, whoa. Because you have to discard all energy cards. However, you just only have to discard two. Because all you need two energies to use all of its attacks. And it is a good GX. No weaknesses. So Tapu Bulu will like it. Yeah, yeah. Except I don't know how you get two energies per turn. But still, it's better. It's better. Now, not only the grass Pokemons are happy. You know, I had to think of some uh, colorless Pokemons. Because if you go back, it says... Any Pokemon, not just Grass Pokemon. So those colorless families, they're happy for Venusaur too. Dragonite's like, oh, we can be friends together. Me and you from Generation 1. Look at this four energy attack. Only costs two Grass energies now. What does it do? It is a two shot and it always discards energy. Just like Team Magma scores. Just like what Sylvia wants to do. When it was a nightmare at the start of this, uh, the start of the expansion. So what other colors we had to bring up Snorlax? Five energy cards, so you could just use three grass energies instead to use all of its attacks. Yeah, yeah, so we could actually make these big, giant, big number of attacks work. Maybe. That might be a cool way to accelerate, so we might visit you in the future of Snorlax. And one final example, okay? One final one, the card that you put in all your decks. Tapu Lele. Energy drive, it counts! The more energies on Tapu Lele, the more damage it does. So three energies is 120 damage. Give it a choice, man. And with one energy on the enemy, you have enough damage to one-shot Lele. You have enough one damage to one-shot Venusaur. Three grass energies. You know, very easy to do with Max Elixir, so... Yeah! Now, moving on! Venusaur, I really liked you. I'm gonna... This is a very good tool set for our future grass and colorless decks. Now, next, we have Carnivine, which... The only good thing about this is this attack right here. It always discards energy. Always. 
However, it does no damage and the you know, hit points, the numbers aren't there. You may go for Dragonite because the numbers are there and it works with Venusaur as well. So moving off Carnivine, we are going to go to Volcorina, which has an escape rope-like effect. Once during your turn, you can make your opponent switch their Pokemon to one of their bench. Depends if they have one ready or depends if that's going to help you. Because usually you want to take care of the threat, the threat's going to active. Is this going to help you in a meaningful way? That just depends on the match. The thing is, maybe yes, maybe no. The unreliability of it makes it, uh, makes it a bit tough. However, it is another tool in our tool set. We have to make an interesting dex. You know, we just keep it, just keep it around. So Volcorna, if something comes up for you, we'll take a look at you. Croconaw, this is one that's a weird one. And uh, they're bringing back a Generation 2 one, so that, that's interesting. Plunge! This should be on the next evolution, but this is on Stage 1. It evolves one more time. And it's a critical ability. It should be on Stage 2, however, it's on Stage 1. So, and once during your turn, you can uh, do an Arcanine-like effect. You can jump into active, take all energies, including special energies. All energies is all energies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you can bring double colors energies onto itself. Now, Crocodile sucks. It only has 90 hit points. Its damage is 60. It doesn't get you anywhere. However, for Alligator, is good. And it can't use the ability. So you gotta use it with four evolves. No rare candies with this now. All right. And the strategy is, hey, it does 130 damage. Good. That is a two shot. That's, that's Tapu Lele. I'm oh, sorry, no, no, Tapu Coco. Tapu Coco does the same thing, but with less energy. So, all right, going back to Crocodile, you know, it's got the stats. 160 is, you know, GX hit levels. 130? Yeah, you can fight against other GX Pokemons. The problem is you're just expensive to charge up, and you're supposed to keep yourself alive, you know, every time you take a hit, plunge, use Max Potion. It's gonna be a bit heavy. Could be a bit heavy, but we can make a. I guess we can visit it one day, and then we'll, we'll be uh, finished with it. All right, moving on. Palkia, basic legendary 130. So for alligator, can one shot Palkia? Yeah, yeah. P Palkia is not the EX Pokemon's. Its damage are so so. You get three energies, water, water for 100, and then a low damage attack. 30 heals 30. Uh, the numbers don't get you anywhere, however. You know, non-EX cards may be important in the future. We'll get to that. Yeah, we're getting to that. We're getting to that. Manaphy! Manaphy, basic Pokemon ability. Easily, you can stack this on your bench where you can heal 20 damage off of only one. Not all like Rupsies. Only one of any of your Pokemon that has a water energy. Could be rainbow energy, but as long as it has a water-like energy on it, double dragon energy counts, you can heal 20. Now, stacking this may get you somewhere thing is, you know, we haven't really used the healing so much. Burst damage is so high nowadays that, uh, man, if it's gonna be hard to gonna make you work. However, it is another tool, just like for Corna. We're gonna keep you in the kit. So, uh, yeah, yeah, deck making, uh, kit. Shining Volcanion. It's not so good. Why? Because it has lots of energies and the damage doesn't quite should get you anywhere. So, 130 for Alligator can one-shot this. Dull pump 50 damage to two of your opponent's Pokemon. Badge, active, great. Three water energies. Uh, you know, I, I go for, for Alligator's attack. I go for Tapu Coco's lay attack. Yeah, Tapu Coco. Just, you know, same energy cost. I like that bigger damage better. But it's, you know, a GX and non-GX. Still, this is a three shot. It's like C level damage. And Quash ma Dam Smash is only 100. I'd rather use Palkia, man. Palkia's 100 uh, damage average. Cheaper energy costs. Yeah, yeah, unless you're dumping double, double colors energies, which. Just use Dragonite. Dragonite would be Shining Volcanion, so this is a dud. This is a dud. Go with this Zekrom. Hmm. All right. Basic Pokemon Outrage. Same as his older version. The more damage it takes, the more damage it does back. Yeah, the problem is, for Alligator can one-shot this. <laughs> and Tapu Koko. And now, however, it does one-shot important cards, which we'll take a look in a bit. 130 is a very, very nice number, except you have to pay two energy discards. Question mark, so we're not sure about the translation, but... Uh, yeah, because it's blurred, we probably think it can. Uh, that, you know, if it is two energy cards, that's kind of expensive, you know? I go for Ninetales GX instead. 
And Arbok. Ooh, now this one's interesting. Okay. Arbok has 120 hit points, but because of its intimidating pattern, when's in your active is with 30 shielding on it. So its hit points kinda GX level 4 stage 1. Alright. And Poison Fang does 70 damage each, and your you know your opponent is poison. Take a damage between turns. Though the big combo is with this is is with typo. Cell Viper. Cell Viper is like, no. Cell Viper, as long as this card is up, it is a basic. You can stack it on your bench. Poison damage does more. Now, you need two of them to be like a, equal to a Veerbank City, which in the past, they poison deck. Dangerous. You get four. That's four damage between turns. So now, immediately, you know, in the best case scenario, immediately when Arbox attacks, it takes 110 damage. If they don't retreat it, they die. Or poison a uh, color hidden sheep, and it's only you know stage one. I like this. I'm gonna, this is gonna be a very interesting uh, deck to, uh, to make out. So you know pictures. We we're looking at the stream, so we don't get a nice very pictures with this. Latios, 120 damage. Ah, if only no no hit points. The numbers aren't there on this one. You see 120 hit points, 30 up to the front, 30 to bench. Not enough to work with EX Pokemon's Lagoon Flight, only 70 damage. Yeah, we we need more numbers, Pokemon. We need we need we need more numbers. Palkia had a little bit better. Uh, other cards you may see has a little bit better. So now moving on to the Shining Jirachi, which replaces Espy on EX in the current uh, right now. So as I do, Star Determination, ten damage, only one Psychic, and all Evolution cards on your opponent's Pokemon unevolve. So why does that matter? If you weaken the bench Pokemons or whatever Pokemons that unevolve them, they have significantly less hit points. So you may be able to get KOs with this. That's what Espeon did. You know, Espeon was brought to uh, you know this uh, to the U.S. Nationals, and so you know what can we replace it? Trachi. Is the strategy gonna be big? There's a lot of evolved GX Pokemons that will really be hurt by this. So maybe, maybe, maybe not. Good thing to keep in our kit when we make future decks. So gotta keep a gotta keep an eye on that Lipern. Oh, this much hit points? This much damage? At least it's cheap. Now the cool thing is about this Torment attack, which you can disable the most strongest attack. So maybe, maybe if I keep disabling your best attacks, will that stop you? I mean, I could put Choice Band at 60 damage. We hey, we could try. A lot of Pokemon actually have this attack. You know, we could bring it back for a spin. Gash. So we'll find out if Bird is good. Right, we could find out right now. We do some experimenting. However, you know, the numbers aren't quite there. 30 is very little. 30 is very, very little. And you can just squish these. I think your opponent can outlast this. So, no, no. Scraggy. Call for family. Not as good as Vulpix. It's not free. Look, it's a basic. Yeah. And the new Zorua. Nah, the one that we have right now has confusion, automatic confusion, which should completely block a powerful attack. This one, uh, Zoru is getting rotated, so we get a a replacement. Not a good replacement, however, it's Zoru. You don't really use Zoru unless you're desperate. But yeah, we just lose that desperate confusion attack. Hoopa! Finally, why are non EX cards gonna get better? Because this thing is gonna really hurt EX cards. Yeah! Hoopa! Banded Guard prevents all effects of attacks, including damage, by your opponent's GX and EX. It is ability, it is always up, and it is going to mess up GX decks. Oh yeah. This is one of them from the Dark Team. You know there's another one, right? There's another one, Lola Night Tails, which even less stats has to evolve, but it's on the water side. So the water box is gonna get bigger, and is also immune to EX and GX attacks, having the same damage and similar costs. So, with these guys introducing into the game, you know, those EX GX cards, they're gonna have a bit of a problem. And with a choice man, they can two shot those GX Pokemon. So I guess non-EX cards are gonna be, you know, at least on those uh, on the water and the dark side. That could be much more dangerous. So you, it's really gonna shake up the meta. Now we haven't had these in a while uh, for for a couple of months, but now they are back, grand and updated. So that's why you know maybe those trashy card, trashy, uh, not as looking big numbers cards may look uh, good once with uh, these cards come out. All right. So next up is Evil Tall. Oh wow, you've been getting a lot of love. Another Evil Tome card. We have so many Evil Tome cards that are in Expanded and Standard. 
especially in extent. There's so many of these guys. So what do you do? Strafe, just like a Espeon GX. Only 30 damage, and you can switch. Not gonna get you anywhere, but how about Oblivion Wing? 90 damage, and you get energy acceleration. You get more darkness energies. Nice. So maybe you can squeeze this in with your Hoopas. I suppose if you need a non EX attacker, his damage is pretty good. All right, so we see the new warp energy. Uh, let's see, let's see. Warp energy only provides colorless energy, and it's a switch. This is kind of weird because you could only use. Why would you put energy on a Pokemon that's not about to attack? Yeah, yeah. So we'll have to think about it. Maybe it can work for gold. It's so fun. Warp energy is gonna be weird because I really just nothing comes to mind where I can think. Warp Energy is totally is perfect for this deck, but I'll keep it around. See, 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 it is. It counts as you know using energy. Yeah, and I really want to use it on something that you know, put energies on things that are about to attack. Moving on, we talked about Raichu GX in a fast video. We cannot talk about it again, but we get to look at his nice, very low resolution art. But uh, you know, this is a preview, preview of the new cards uh, in the stream itself. So. We can only see that. We can see the new BU2 GX, which we did a video on. We see the new Zora Arc, which we see the full art versions, which we did a video on. So you know what I'm getting to. There's only one more card we need to talk about, and this is Reverse Kukui. Professor Kukui gives you two cards and gives you 20 more damage. This is pushing you to get, you know, KOs. One shots instead of two shots. This heals you. Maybe, but 20 damage is so low. Two cards is so low to help keep you alive and to give you more cards, which is why Pokemon Breeder. Yeah, you can be like How, maybe Ilima, Forgotten. But uh, all right, uh, Country Girl. We're gonna move on. And the last card in this list is we get to look at the new cool, very, uh, very uh, uncomfortable Mewtwo because he's trapped in a small space in the tube. But it's a really cool, you know, version of looking of them. So Mewtwo GX right here in the four. All right, that is enough for the preview. We got to look at some new cards, and there are a lot of cool ones. Venusaur, of course, the first one was the biggest one. The next biggest one was Hoopa. I really like. Oh yeah, this will shake up the GX meta. So Hoopa, kind of like this Arbok because it works with Cell Viper. Manaphy, no. For Alligator, no. And Venusaur, oh yeah. Big, bad, nice uh, attack. So, Shining Legend's gonna focus, I guess, less on GX tech and more than non GX. And, uh, most of them are under tune. These guys are pretty good. Alright, I think that is it. Thank you very much, Ada Girls and the Ferentials. I will see you guys next time for another Pokemon video. Alrighty then. Bye. Thank you, and bye bye.